tonight, Bill Esposito, Eva Gabor, for your response, but these people in the studio audience, I really appreciate that kind of a, of a response. They are, uh, they go to a lot of trouble to come down here week after week and see the show, and I think that you people are a very good crowd, and you should be there. <laughs> Not easy to get a good crowd, but I'm going to show you how good they are. There are plenty of bad crowds. I used to hang around with a bad crowd, <laughs> what my father used to say. But even my father would like this here crowd. I'm going to show you how good this crowd is. Crowd, let me show you. Who are you? Crowd. Of course you're a crowd. Get on your feet, crowd. <laughs> yeah, there they are. They sound like a crowd. Sound like a crowd. <laughs> they can be a loud crowd. <laughs> this is a happening crowd. The crowd is happening. Fred. What is it? They can be a rowdy crowd. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so if you are a film producer out there, maybe a casting director looking for a crowd, call me and you will have the crowd of your dreams. Call Al the crowd man, a crowd pleaser for every occasion. We will send you a crowd guaranteed to be a crowd. You just send cash, check, or money order to me in care of this station. Send $5, $50, $100, whatever you feel a stupid idea like this is worth. Always thought it was worth a laugh, hope you did too. And if you're like this crowd, you will have fun for the next half hour because we know we have some things that this crowd is going to like. Right, crowd? Yeah. And now, please give a big crowd type welcome to our first guest this evening, the dynamic Patsy Gallant. Right? Yeah. When you spread your wings and fly, please don't try to go too high.
Is there anything that'll help fade them? Porcelana, a medicated fade cream. Lately, I've had these awful-looking brown patches. What can I do about them? Try Porcelana, a fade cream. They call these age spots. I call them ugly, but what's a woman to do? Rub in Porcelana. Porcelana helps fade age spots, freckles, and brown patches associated with childbearing years. Takes just eight weeks. Porcelana, medicated fade cream. We stand on the threshold of a new age where science and technology will revolutionize life as we know it. But some things never change. Marshal, you're dead. Even in space, the ultimate enemy is still man, outland. Now playing at a for you. Check your local listings. Can you think of any connection between Gil Gerard, Phil Esposito, the unknown comic, and Ava Gabor? Neither can I. I love to play tennis. It's the only time I'm really relaxed. And when I'm mad, which I'm inclined to get some Your eyes hands, get black? Boy, that tennis record takes it out of you. You hit that ball. You'd be surprised how many directors turned into a tennis ball. Yes, yes. <laughs> a little hostility outlet. Oh, boy. Have you, you, have you been athletic in your life? I or? always. When we were kids, we had to play. We, I even fence. We fence, we ride horseback, swimming, tennis. Mother threw us in the lake in Hungary. We had a lovely summer house by Lake Balaton. And Mother threw all three of us in the water. First, she said, if you're going to die, I'm going to cry a little, and I'm going to miss you, but I'll be still here, and you'll be gone. So now you'll be very careful and learn how to swim, and you know we did. Now, you did tell me that, uh, that you have a little background in hockey for those uh, Canadians oh, yes. who will be interested yes, in Yes, I love hockey, and I tell you why, because my first big romance in Hungary was, I mean, not romance, I was 14, I was just madly in love with him, was a Hungarian count who was a goalkeeper. Uh -huh. And I used to stand behind him in the back because our father would only let us see boys on the ice. He figured nothing could happen on the ice. Is that silly? Well, I've never known of any girls to get in <laughs> trouble at the blue line. But... Well, anyway, I stood behind him and my little toe froze off. Is it still there now? Well, or it's it on, but it is frozen off a bit. So to have no uh, sensation not in that Not much, little not much. And that's the way you'll remember hockey players, probably, <laughs> yeah, I think for they life. Divide. I think they're mine. It's the hockey top rock. It's the hockey top rock. All right, I got a bag of jokes, so let's get started. Did you hear about the mafia? They got a new car out. You look under the hood, and there's another hood. <laughs> All right, what do you get when you cross an elephant and a rhino? <laughs> well, a vino. <laughs> where do you get birds and wool? <laughs> From ugly sheep. All right. <laughs> okay. You suck at that marvelous control. <laughs> All right, it's obviously time now for... <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I spit in my face. <laughs> It's time now for some magic, folks. That right magic, and I want you all now to notice <laughs> an empty bag. <laughs> I'm talking about this sucker. <laughs> all right, folks, I'm not going to blow into the empty bag. <laughs> all right, watch that thing now. Watch. 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 All right, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna put the watch.
watch into this hand. I am now gonna transfer the watch from this hand to this empty hand, keeping the arms apart. Are you ready? Say the magic words, Shazam! Ladies and gentlemen, the watch is now in this hand. Now the most difficult part, to bring it back from this hand to this hand. <laughs> don't realize I can always, <laughs> I can mind read with this bag on too. That's right, I can read mine. Sir, what is your name? Greg. Greg, all right, Greg, I want you to pick a number between one and 1,000 and keep it in your head. All right, Greg, do you have that number? All right, keep saying it over and over again in your head. All right, here it goes. All right, Greg, tell the truth. Is that number 310? No. He said no, all right. <laughs> <laughs> excited about the success of your series, of course, Buck oh. Rogers. Oh, Phil's going to do the Canadian version. He's going to do Puck Rogers. Okay? <laughs> Start his own series. My agent always calls me up and say, ah, schmuck, how are you doing? <laughs> Is it fun for you to come on a show other than your own and, uh, Loosen up a little bit and be yourself, if that was indeed you, and if it is, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really don't like it much. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Our next guest is uh, the next Buck Rogers. It ain't easy, man. It's tough to save the world every week. No, but, uh, well, yeah. I had a good time. Go ahead. I don't Do let me interrupt. No, I, was, show. Uh, I had so much that I wanted to talk to you about. Maybe I'll just let you go because uh, you're, you're real good at this. I mean, I've seen you on a, on a few, uh, and if you're not real good at this, yeah, yeah, so I'm watching <laughs> I know that the last time that we had a chance to do this together, uh, you then ran off and got married. That's right. Minutes. Well, I had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Girls won't talk to me anymore. No, I'm on TV with Alan Thick. I'm going to get married. <laughs> and your wife is... Uh, you were going to do that up in Canada, in fact, weren't you? Well, we tried to uh, get married in Vancouver because I'd heard it was and that was our first trip up here and um, the jail record got in the way yeah, yeah. well <coughs> it was vd actually first time i ever tried to make hockey i i was 19 years old or 18 i went away to the training camp in st Catharines, ontario and didn't make the team and they sent me to sarnia to play junior b and i went to sarnia played ten dollars a week i got and i i thought i had the junior a club made and didn't make it the next year I went back and I weighed 225 pounds. This is a true story. And Rudy Pillis was the owner of the, of the team then. He called me over he says, hey, Fatso, come here. And I came over to him, he says, uh, this is August, I think it was the 13th or something. He says, you think you could be down to 200 pounds or close to it by September 1st? I says, well, I don't know. He said, if you can, you got a job on this team. And I made it. And I was down there to make a long story short. I was there, I made the 201 pounds I weighed played for the four, first four games. A guy by the name of Ray Cullen got hurt. I went in, played, got four goals that game, and it just seemed to blossom. Put on the stick, take off your gloves, grab that sweater, and you're ready for love. It's the hot rock. It's the hot rock. It's the hot rock. Here's the hot rock. It's the hot rock. Here's the hot rock. It's the hot rock.
Hello, I'm Betty White. When I'm cooking for the one I love, what's more important to me, convenience or good taste? Well, good taste, naturally. That's why I serve Uncle Ben's converted rice instead of instant. I find it tastes better. If you're currently using instant rice, try Uncle Ben's converted rice. It takes a little longer to prepare, but it tastes better. And frankly, I'm worth it. Now, there's a brand new charcoal you just pour and light. You don't need lighter fluid, ever. Match light. Look again. Match light lights fast and easy. You don't add a single drop of lighter fluid. New Match Light from Kingsford. It's the poor and light charcoal because you don't need lighter fluid ever. The people at Fletcher's make all different kinds of prepared meats. There's salami and ham and bologna and corned beef, and summer sausage, lots and lots of others. They're all delicious. No wonder Fletcher's is so big in sandwiches. I love Fletcher's. It's the most fun you can eat. At Dolman's, we're famous for our lumber, but we're more than just a lumber yard. We're a full building supply center, and we have an excellent line of materials available to help you get your garden in shape for summer fun. Right now, take advantage of great savings at Dolman's on stretched sun deck coating. 15% off the regular price. Got a garden improvement project in mind? Come on in. Do it, do it, do it with Dolman's. In Duncan and by the Bay Street Bridge, Victoria. I've always been a sports fan myself, so it's great fun for me from time to time to be able to have some great athletes on this program. I like to get them away from the rink or the field, get them over on the sofa where they can't hurt me. Here are some of them now. Give me a J. J. And O. O. Give me an E. E. What do you got? J. What is an average week like in your life? How much of it is meetings? How much of it is dinner? How much of it is... Uh, Ladies, how much? Uh, and you can start at any one of those if you like. If we were to follow you around from Monday morning, where do you wake up first of all? <laughs> I mean, how does, just uh, had a, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I wake up in the arms of someone. Your aunt. <laughs> your aunt is no, packing not your aunt, lunch, no. lunch and sending you off to school. Uh, so, well, you know, weeks vary, days vary. It depends on uh, what's coming down. Uh, I hope to try and enjoy each and every day, each and every week, the best I can. You've taken a lot of ribbing for that. The most famous commercial that any of us has ever seen, I would suppose. You know, that, that, that is uh, the best commercial, I guess, I've ever worked with as far as response from the public and, and uh, from the advertising aspect of it was sensational. Uh, I go back to Alabama now and then, and I, I did get back there one time, and this old guy about 80-something years old said, Hey, Joe Willie, you know, I used to like to watch you play football here at Bama, and I kept up with you even when you went on up there to New York City. But when you start wearing them long stockings, I got, I got the feeling you weren't right anymore. Think high. Don't oh, think, don't think, John, don't think getting over the bar, think high. You know, just like Soaring to new heights, all right? And uh, can you give me a quick uh, quick coaching course uh, here? Uh, uh, I don't think I would do the backwards well, flop. That looks like a lot of uh, practice to go I can't coach you until I've there. seen something.
Bobby, when the knees started to hurt those last few years of your career, did you get any pressure from family, doctors, friends to take it easy, maybe get out of the game? Did they give you any kind of Muhammad Ali warnings? Oh, I, uh, my friends, my family, they, 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 they knew me. Uh, they knew I was going to try it and, until I was sure I could not play. And that's what I did. I took a year off. Often rest is the best cure, so I tried that. And after a year, I tried to come back and couldn't play. They knew I would try it. So there was always, you know, be careful. I had to try it. I didn't want to go through the rest of my life thinking, gee, maybe I could have played. I myself, not to be immodest, but had uh, quite a, uh, a future, I think, in, uh, in sports. I remember when I played with the, with the Bruins. If you gave your sweater away today, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that means. But you gave your sweater away, and after you practice, Al used to practice with us when I was at the Bruins and we were in L.A. He would come out to practice with us, and, and everyone agreed that he shouldn't give up his nighttime job. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have a future in hockey. Well, actually, I was, uh, I, I was doing terrifically. The only things that helped, that kept me out of the pros were... Uh, that I didn't have a shot, and I couldn't skate, and I couldn't check. But other than that, I, I really kind of had the game down. This little fellow brought something special back into my life. Johnson, my glad. Because I wash my hair every day. So my shampoo has to be gentle. And believe me, that's Johnson's pure and simple. It's no more tears lathered. It's as gentle as water to eyes. For my hair, that's real gentleness. Soft, manageable hair every day. You have to trust Johnson. I do. Johnson's baby shampoo. Gentleness you can trust every day. Vancouver Island. It has so much to offer, and we help you enjoy it all. As you travel the highways and byways of our island for business or pleasure, relax with the knowledge that you're traveling with companies that are known and respected for reliability and service. Chatwin Motors in Fort Alberta. Security Motor Products in Parksville. Coming, Mom. Oh, I just love family reunions. They sure are packing away the maple leaf cold cats. It's a good thing maple leaf makes so many delicious kinds. Cooked ham, salami, bologna. Made with good red beef and good lean pork. That and maple leaf special seasonings. Can't beat a combination like that. Think I'll dig in myself. Me too. After all, I'm family too. Maple leaf. It's our best. Make it yours. Oh, 
ended up broken and busted Someone said it was someone who made him As soon as the novelty is worn out and rusted Sunday B with CTV is the top drivers in the world line up their starting positions for the Indy 500.